I just made these crab stuffed shrimp, which is pretty much like a juicy crab cake stuffed into a juicy piece of shrimp. Packed with flavor, let me show you guys how to make these. So first thing you're gonna do is completely rinse off your shrimp. If they're frozen shrimp, make sure to thaw them out completely first. But then yeah, just rinse them and then peel them, de-vein them. After you do that, pat them completely dry and now you have a good base to work with. I'm using this Chosen Foods avocado oil. You can use olive oil if you like, but I'm hit the shrimp with that avocado oil, some Old Bay seasoning, a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning. I love to use lemon pepper when dealing with seafood. And then a little bit of this Tony's Creole seasoning. You can use the no salt version if you like. And last but not least, some smoked paprika. You see, I didn't add any salt and pepper to this. You want to be sure that the oil and all of the seasonings is really well combined into all of the shrimp. So be sure to toss it around, get all that seasoning from like the edge of the bowl too. Your shrimp's going to come out looking just like this. Unless you OD it on the seasoning, this is how it should look. In a separate bowl, you're going to get some mayo. I'm using Duke's mayo here. A little bit of Dijon mustard. You can use regular mustard if you like as well. Whatever your favorite hot sauce is, I'm using Truff. They have hotter versions, but I'm just going to go with the regular heat here. Then you want to go ahead and add the same seasoning that you use for the shrimp along with some crushed crackers. I use club crackers, but you can use those soda crackers as well and some lemon juice. You get that all mixed up together and it's going to look just like this. Then after it looks like this, you're going to go ahead and add some jumbo lump crab to it. The reason you don't do it in the first place is because you don't want it to really break up the crab too much. So you add the crab and you just want to really fold the crab into the mixture just so that you don't break up those big crab pieces. Folding is a simple technique where you're just taking everything and scraping it from the outside of the bowl and bringing it to the inside of the bowl. And once you folded everything in and the mixture is pretty well combined, it should come out looking just like this. If you're one of those people that like a lot more crab and less filler, just go ahead and add more crab meat to it. That's cool. Next, grab whatever bacon dish you're going to use for this. I've used one of these oval dishes before and these still came out looking great um, presentation wise. But in this case, I'm going to use these cast iron skillets just to present differently. OK, you're going to go with the back side of that shrimp and just slice it down the middle. Not all the way through, but this is called butterfly in the shrimp. It's going to help the shrimp to stand up. Then you're going to scoop that crab mixture on the inner part of the shrimp. As you can see, that was about a teaspoon or so of the mixture, and I'm just really pressing it down to pack it on the inside of that shrimp. And then I'm just gonna sit the shrimp into this cast iron skillet. That's the reason why we butterfly the outside. If you do it right, it should come out just like this. If not, just use this one as practice and then just get the other ones to look just like this, okay? I've done this for a few times. It took me a minute to get it right, so it might take you the same amount of time to get it right. Once you get it like this though, these things are ready to go into the oven. I'll put these in the oven for maybe like 375, for about 10 to 12 minutes until it came out looking like this. After they were finished in the oven, I hit them with some melted garlic butter, hit them with a little bit of parsley, and garnish them with some lemon juice. Make these yourself and tag me. It's a wrap. Let's go.